Hello creatures of the internet. Today we're going to be playing Contract Demon by Nom Nom Nami. As always there's a link to it in the description below if you'd like to play it for yourself. This one is a bit different. It's a visual novel that was created for Nano Reno 2019 and it's based on a short story that I guess the creator made separately and they kind of made this to go with it. Like I said I'm going to leave a link to it in the description so you can go and check out the page. It has all the information about all that on there. The creator has a Patreon that I know about and the art looks really good good and I like the idea of it so I figured why not play this why not look at this story and why not check it out for myself so we're gonna go ahead and start Ooh, it's demons oh I like that may my melody reach the deepest pits of the netherworld Camilla if you're listening I invite you to this world let's form a contract so you've called upon me again, Eleni. Tremble in fear, pathetic fool, for I, from the very depths of oblivion, have brought the book you asked for. That aesthetic is amazing. I like that. Ah! Show me! Show me! Here, a comprehensive guide to capturing princesses. Not sure why you'd want a guidebook aimed at overlord-level demons, but... Of course I'd want it! It's important to learn what kinds of knowledge they'd want to pass down to future generations. You're not secretly vying to become an overlord, then. <laughs> I wonder. By the way, do you really have to wear those robes every time you summon me? <laughs> yes! It's part of the ritual! This is the third time we've done this. I have to be dressed for the ritual, Camilla. And is this daily ritual really necessary to our original contract? If I don't set the mood, it won't be fun. It gives you an excuse to make a fun demonic entrance, too. Any entrance I make is demonic. For I am a fearsome demon, a creature born from the the nightmares of pathetic humans. Is that really how demons are born? Do you think I could dream a demon into existence too? This she is way too happy, man. No, that's not really. But I dream about demons all the time. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I'm an angel? No, I I just thought we're supposed to be like a human's worst fear. I don't know. Huh? Then how are demons born? Just Never mind. Why are we talking about this? You're the one who brought it up. Here, let me get the lights. Oh, and off she goes. Ah, that's much better. Oh, her outfit is adorable. Oh my god. Then don't bother with, with that atmosphere in the first place. Is it okay if I come up with a new task for you so I can get to reading this new book? Huh? Y yeah, I, I mean, don't casually believe I'll obey your whims. Think seriously as to what you'll offer your soul. Your next wish may be your last. Oh, is there a three wish limit? Like a genie? That was supposed to be like a threat on your life. Let's do one contract per day minimum. That's my new contract with you. Refused. What? I thought that would be a good one. I can't let myself be monopolized by one client. I'm just starting out. I need a wider range of experience. Oh, okay. So she does like a bunch of people that summon her. It's not like a weird relationship thing going on. Although obviously there's a weird relationship thing going on. So I can't play with you every day? Absolutely not, fool. You think demon summoning is a game? These contracts have grave consequences for your soul. Oh, I don't care about that. Whatever the price to talk to a demon, I'll pay it. T seriously? If asking you to come back every day is too much, then my new contract for you is to hang out with me for the next 24 hours. What? Weren't you about to read that book I brought you? I can find something to entertain you in the meantime. What's important is that we're here together. Plus, this is basically an addendum to our original contract. Friends should spend time together, aren't we friends, Camilla? Due to that contract, Yes, ongoing interaction would be required, I think. I just didn't realize ongoing meant daily. You're agreeing to this one though, right? I have no objections, it's a fair contract. Spend the next 24 hours hanging out with you and then you give me a break for a few days, all right? Okay. <laughs> Good, then it's decided. I, I mean, the contract is sealed. <laughs> Oh, log. New contract has a time obligation to be back tomorrow. Okay, no lasagna for you tonight. I'll have leftovers. Not if I eat it all. Brother, you are truly a demon among demons. If only I could learn from your evil ways. <laughs> okay, so Olog is the demon's brother. Okay. Such praise. I'll leave you my scraps out of mercy. Wow, I'm grateful. <laughs> Alright, I want to save it. Oh, this screen is so fucking adorable. <laughs> Are you done reading yet? I'm bored. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take a break. This book is really funny. I'm sure the author would be disappointed to hear that considering it's a technical manual. Did you finish reading that comic? Huh? Yeah, like an hour ago. What'd you think? Is any of the demon lore accurate? It's totally in line with my vision of the netherworld, so I have to know. Uh, you are at least a bit embarrassed to say a comic called Succubus Marty is your vision of the netherworld. <laughs> 
I love how editors going to have to have to make that word like pixelated or some shit. It's my ideal. Was it too good to be true? Yeah. Also, you're pretty brave to hand over your book to someone you barely know. And there's another word censor. That one's pretty tame. Besides, you read all the way through, so it must have been fine. I I didn't have anything else to do. Do you like succubus ladies too, Camilla? We're not talking about this. <laughs> just casually summons a demon and just talks with them. <laughs> okay, sorry. Then what do you want to do next? Uh, I don't know. You're the host here. Friend stuff. Demon friend stuff? What do demon friends normally do? Skeleton fr friends play video games. Demon friends. Huh. Mwahaha. <laughs> Demons despise the very idea of petty friendships. What a waste of time. So there's no demon friend stuff to do? Of course not, you fool. Then let's play capture the princess. You be the overlord and I'll be the princess. Huh? I is that a real thing? I just made it up. Try to capture me. Isn't this just tag? Demons play tag too? <laughs> very well, I shall engage in this game of tag. Aw. Yeah! The evil overlord is after me! <laughs> I'll capture and imprison you, like a true overlord would do. Wah! I'm cornered! Ooh, I'm cornered! I have you now, princess! Oh no! What are you gonna do to me? Ah, uh, I am imprison you, right? What about after that? Wait for a hero to come challenge me, and then slay him remorselessly! Mwahahaha! <laughs> so you'll fight to protect me, Miss Overlord? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, our princess is supposed to like their captors? <laughs> oh my god, this is adorable. This is just too adorable. This is like a weird version of Black Butler. This one does. Isn't that kind of messed up? We're just playing, but if you don't like it, I guess we can do something else. Are you hungry? Oh, what do demons eat? Meat, right? Stop right there. Do not try to serve me something weird like human flesh, okay? So she's like a weird fangirl. Like, she's like a yandere for demons. Demon ladies, maybe? Because she specifically said succubi earlier. Mind reader, we're really on the same wavelength now. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're a dangerous angel. And I guess like a, like they've mentioned, she's an angel? Like those wings must be real, which is kind of weird, but awesome. Like I said, I'm not sure it's based on, um, let's see. Yeah, I guess it's like a pre-existing universe for this person where they have like little short stories and stuff they do have do, 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 a ko-fi i'm not seeing a patreon but they have a ko-fi on their page so you can always go to their ko-fi and you can donate there's probably more details there and on their social media so what should i cook or maybe food made by an angel would poison you i didn't consider that it only become poison if you put something weird in it maybe i'd be better off eating out no 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 you can't go outside everyone would freak out oh right angels you might be able to disguise you if not for your big long horns oh maybe you could put stockings over them to look like a bunny pass just order pizza or something pizza demon pizza they're not going to deliver from the netherworld just order your regular angel pizza <laughs> okay i'll order pizza okay so this is wherever angels live it's kind of weird but i kind of like it i got pizza for dinner that's very lasagna jason will you still want leftovers please what's that huh my phone a demon phone this is my first time seeing one in real life do angels not have smartphones nope but i've read a little about them though smartphones were invented by the great demon Pandata, who wanted personal handheld access to the netherweb and then his idea was stolen and mass produced so now demons can be connected all the time it's so incredible angels don't have have things like that yeah that sounds inconvenient not really our lifestyles don't really call for it plus they're illegal I illegal were you texting someone my brother, <laughs> brother? whoa y yes he's also my supervisor that's gotta be fucking weird <laughs> a brother and a supervisor is he strict does he look like you is he even taller sometimes uh somewhat similar and yeah he's taller than me that's so tall are all demons really tall i wonder what the average height is for demons D do you have any family ellen Nah, who needs them? It's just me. Huh. You can access the netherweb through your phone, right? Even though you're not in the netherworld? Oh, uh, I have reception through the summoning circle, yeah. Wow! If you want to borrow it, we're gonna need to do a new contract. No, no, it's too much power. I'm not ready for the netherweb yet. Sure. But if you wanted to, we could, uh, watch a movie. A demon movie? Yes, a demon movie. Can we? Can we please? <laughs> But are you prepared? Your eyes could melt out of your skull from the brilliant darkness of demonic horror cinema. Melt my eyes, please, Camilla. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so wait. If angels don't have smartphones, do they not have, like, anything close to TV? So they don't have anything close to internet. Ooh, I got questions now. Very well. Turn down the lights and brace your... 
Um, your very soul! Aw, that's fucking adorable. Aw, she fell asleep. She tired angel. Aw. This job is cool. I just gotta watch train to Abaddon and take a long nap. Reminder not to date your clients, Camilla. It's not a date, lol. Can't two people watch a movie without it being a date? What is your problem? Wait, were you joking? Now I'm embarrassed. We should talk when you get back. Okay, but just to be clear, I'm not dating my clients. Ooh! It doesn't have to be a date. There doesn't have to be like, like, and no! No, it does not have to be a date. You could hang out with a friend and you could watch a movie. You could have a sleepover with a friend and it could be platonic. Platonic love is real, damn it. Oh, you're already up. <laughs> I slept for so long, I must have been worn out from how exciting yesterday was. Do you need a shower or anything? No. Oh, do demons bathe? Yes, demons bathe. <laughs> sorry, just asking. No, um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap or anything. You just ask a lot of questions like that. It's okay, you're right. I have been asking you too many questions. Can we watch more demon movies? Oops, that's another question. Yeah, there's time for one more until my 24 hours are up. Aw, you'll really have to go? That was the contract. Then let's do another contract once the time is up. I don't think it works like that. I've already explained this to you. You get one per summon. I can't go against regulations or I could lose my job. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, our contract this time states you must refrain from summoning me for the next three days. So even if you try, it won't work. Yeah, I know. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just feeling really tired for some reason. <laughs> I think I need to eat something. Right, um, get some food and I'll pick out a movie. Want to see more demon zombies? Oh, Camilla, you really know the way to my heart. Is that a normal interest? <laughs> Is that a normal interest for fucking angels? <laughs> and so, their contract ends. Oh, oh, damn! Welcome back. Hey, is now a good time? Did you prepare a lecture? You totally have the wrong idea, you know. <laughs> Please, just listen, Camilla. Summoners are our clients. Nothing more, nothing less. We fulfill requests, and they repay us the bits of their soul. And then one day, when they die, the netherworld claims the rest, and they're reborn as a demon. I know how it works. Then you know that our job is important. We can't advertise our services. We can only wait for souls from the other worlds to call upon us. We depend on our limited clientele to rely on us in a professional manner. The more contracts they make, the sooner the netherworld can claim their soul. I love this music. I have not commented on the music, but I really do like the music. Which is why dating a summoner becomes problematic. Do you understand? I'm not dating her, Olog. What kind of demon goes on dates anyways? I don't have a romantic bone in my body, so there's no problem. Friendships are off limits too. My point stands. Camilla, you cannot be friends with someone you are literally draining the life from. <laughs> She's like, but please. <laughs> yeah, tell that to her. Huh? It's not a problem. She's contractually obligated to not summon me for three whole days. So 24 hours together and then three days apart. I would love to read over your contracts with that witch. She says she's an angel. Background check says she's a witch. Why would an angel summon a demon? She's actually a witch? We have been Uno reverse carded? Don't know. Are angels even real? They must be, right? In some world cut from off from our own. Huh. Two weeks later? Are you sure there haven't been any summon attempts in the past week? Just like I said yesterday, your witch must be busy with something. Oh, I love this character! Oh my god. Like, I like the traditional red and I like the build of her character. Like, overall, I prefer... Our, our lovely main demon lady over here, but I like her hair. I like the cur I love the curved horns and I like the color palette. This is just weird. Yeah, it is weird. Did you do something to scare her off? No! I mean, I don't think so. You seem kind of frantic, Cammy. It's weird, isn't it? Someone summons you for three days in a row and then nothing. For two weeks, what did I do wrong? Aw, oh, we're missing our friend! I'd want to ask why she lied about being a witch. I'm an actual demon, like, why would she care? You're the sen sentimental type, aren't you? I'm not sentimental, I'm a demon! Want me to hook you up with a new summoner? I... I don't know. See? Sentimental. You don't want to give up the one you had. So wait, 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 wait. Beginning of this, she stated that she has a bunch of people that she does contracts for, or that she has contracts with, so... Is it not pre... Okay, so like, I'm a little confused. Because she stated that the demons go to molt on multiple contracts. They have, like, they have a handful or a couple handful of people that they go to and do whatever it is they're summoned for in exchange for bits of the person's soul, right? Right. But that comment makes me think that she hasn't done another contract with another human, witch, whatever, in the past two weeks. So which is true? That's not it. Ugh, ask me again tomorrow. I'm clocking out. I'm not sentimental. She really wanted to keep summoning me. That's what she was saying, so it's weird that she isn't. There's nothing more to it. It's just something weird that's happening, and I want to know why. That's all it is. Why does everyone think it's because I got attached to her or something? It's so... 
It's all so stupid. Meanwhile, all right, so I'm gonna have to cut it here. If you liked it, drop drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking of it. I love the art style so far. Like, I'm dead ass excited to see where this goes. And I really like the game so far. I just do. It's adorable. It's a nice break and it's a nice change of pace for all the other games that I play. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below. Until next time, friends. Bye.